Good morning, Timothy Christian School. Today is Monday, March the 30th. Our morning meeting is gonna look a little bit different today because it's theme assembly day. Your greeting for the day is to give an elbow bump to everyone in your family. Today, I'd like to start by reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This month, we are talking about the phrase, forgive us our debts. When you see the sign, no trespassing, what do you think about? Because what are debts, or in other words, trespasses? I'd like you to pause the computer and talk about it with your family. What does no trespassing mean? For me, when I trespass, I'm going somewhere off limits. Somewhere I shouldn't be going. So debts could be stealing, lying, even saying or thinking bad thoughts about another person. So when we ask God to forgive us for what we do wrong, we're also promising God that we will forgive others who have wronged us. This can be very hard. And sometimes we have to work our whole lives to do this, to forgive those who have wronged us. It isn't always easy, but God understands that it's hard, and he knows that we're working on it. We don't have to be perfect about it. We just have to be serious about wanting to forgive someone. I think we need to remember that forgiveness is not always about forgetting, but about being willing to move forward in a new way. When someone does something horrible to us, we get angry. God gets angry too. What we need to remember is that no matter what someone has done, God believes that they are worthy of forgiveness. And that's why he died on the cross for us. Sometimes the closest we can get to forgiving someone is to believe that God can forgive them. The Bible verse today comes from 1 John verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. God will help us to forgive those who have hurt us. We just need to give all of our hurts and all of our grudges over to him and to offer forgiveness. It's not always easy, but God will help us to do it. Richard's here joining me this morning and he's gonna lead us in singing two songs. Hi, um, yeah, first we're going to sing You Are My King, Amazing Love. They're going to be on the screen somewhere. I don't know. Someone's holding the words up. Just sing along, please. <laughs> I'm a 
You took each one of them to the cross. And Lord, this week, as we walk towards Good Friday and Easter, may we remember all that you did for us. I pray, Father God, that you will bless us today, that you will bless us this week. And we pray this in your holy name. Amen. Just remember that you are loved, that you are missed, and know that we are praying for you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.